Everybody is full of crap. Emotional crap. No, really. We're all full of emotional crap. And it's a big deal. For most people, it's what's underneath everything from anxiety to depression to addiction and the disconnection that plagues our modern society. But there's a solution, a way to flush out your emotional crap. It's something we all used to know how to do, but we forgot. And what it is may surprise you. The solution is found in your body. But in order to find it, you have to lose your mind. In order to explain this, I'm going to start somewhere strange. Let's talk about poop. There is a theory that all of modern civilization was built on a foundation of poop. See, there was a time when we humans didn't know that living surrounded by our own excrement was a problem. And those people paid the price. Disease was rampant. But something magical happened when we learned about sanitation and waste disposal. We literally built empires and extended our lives because we learned to distance ourselves from our crap. I believe that the next evolution of the human race will be built on a foundation of emotional sanitation and emotional waste disposal. Negative emotions like anger, sadness, fear, guilt, hurt, are not bad. They're natural. Byproducts of living. As natural as poop is a natural byproduct of eating. But right now, we are all surrounded by our own emotional excrement. We are swimming in it. We are full of it. Some people even think rolling around in it is good for you. Why? Because no one taught us how to let it go. Now, when we were infants, we had many ways of releasing the trauma and emotions instinctively. But as we grew, we were discouraged from doing the things that helped us feel better, that help us flush out the emotional waste. And what happens when you don't let it out is that all that emotional waste builds up and often becomes the root behind things like addiction, anxiety, depression, etc. And all this leads to what I call the great modern plague of disconnection. We disconnect from each other, from nature, from ourselves, from our bodies, from our feelings. The cost of disconnection is our ability to feel everything, anything. Why do we disconnect? There's only one reason, pain. You don't disconnect if you're feeling good. You disconnect because it hurts. The problem is that is a two-way street. You can't disconnect from pain without numbing to everything, the bad and the good. The word for this emotional pain is trauma. Trauma is not what most people think it is. It's not just about people who have been in a war or a car accident or an abusive relationship. We are all traumatized. You may not think you are. Many people rebel against the idea that we've been emotionally wounded because we've been socially conditioned to think that only happens to weak people. I call it the John Wayne syndrome, and it's a leftover belief system that we as a species are slowly getting over. It doesn't matter whether you call what you've been through in your life trauma or not. You can't live in modern society and not be traumatized. 
There's research that shows that just driving on the freeway is stressful to your nervous system at a level to call it trauma. You may think you're fine, but your body is like, ah, we're not meant to go this fast. There's evidence to suggest that just being indoors too much is traumatizing. Ultimately, trauma is in the eye of the beholder. Going to the grocery store can be traumatizing for some people. Your body is the one who decides whether something is traumatizing to you, not your mind. Here's the good news. Trauma can be healed and recovered from 100%. The human animal is incredibly resilient, and it's designed to heal itself, both physically and emotionally, psychologically. But even for those of us that are open to the idea that emotional wounds are real wounds, the standard methods of healing often don't work. Medication often doesn't work because it gets in the way of your body's innate ability to heal itself. Now, don't get me wrong, antidepressants are a lifesaver to many, many people. And to me, they are often not fixing the real problem at the root. Talk therapy doesn't work because in many cases, the problem is not in your head, it's in your body. And talking about the problem brings it up into your mind, which often makes the problem feel and seem more real, but it doesn't solve the problem. If you have anxiety in your body, your mind is going to keep finding new things to be anxious about because that's what minds do. The real solution is found in your body. And in order to find it, you have to lose your mind. Einstein once said, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. In our society, we honor the servant and we have forgotten the gift entirely. The intuitive mind is another name for the intelligence of your body. Trying to live your life with all that emotional crap stored in your body feels a lot like trying to drive with your foot on the gas and the brake at the same time. You might have enough horsepower to move even with your foot on the brake, but it just takes so much damn effort. When you start to let go of that emotional crap stored in your body, things start to become effortless. If I could right now pull your consciousness out of your body and shove you into your own body when you were six years old, you would not even be able to deal with the energy you would feel. The amount of pleasure and excitement, you would feel like you were on drugs. Have you ever seen a little kid get so excited and so full of pleasure that they can't even contain it and they do a little happy dance? When was the last time you felt like that? When you lose your mind, you find more pleasure because pleasure is something that happens in your body, not in your mind. When you lose your mind, you gain the ability to respond to what's happening around you instead of react. When you lose your mind, you become impervious to people pushing your buttons because you literally don't have any buttons to push anymore. And most importantly, when you lose your mind, you open the door to get literally everything you want in life. Because everything you want is a feeling. If you can't feel, nothing will ever satisfy you. You can't get anything. Nothing is worth pursuing. You can't find happiness, love, peace, satisfaction because they're all feelings. Even if you want money, success, fame, it's all feelings. People think they want money or at least the things they think they'd buy with money, but you don't. 
Really, what you want is the feeling you think you'll have when you get there. But if you are slowly losing your ability to feel anything, if you're going numb, it's all pointless. And that's probably why you don't have those things. We can all tell deep down that they won't fill that hole inside. So after spending over three years studying this subject in depth, I've created a program called Lose Your Mind, designed to help you let go of the emotional crap and wake up the superpower called feeling again. In this full day virtual training, I'll be sharing with you the essential principles and best daily practices that I've discovered to help you reconnect to your body and your feelings. These are the emotional release strategies that you used to know, that all animals know instinctively, that can release the emotional crap. They are the emotional hygiene practices that none of us were taught. They're the equivalent of taking a shower or brushing your teeth or wiping your emotional butt. And they go beyond that because it's not just about releasing the day-to-day -day emotional crap that builds up. It's also about chipping away at all of the stored emotional crap that has been with you for your whole life up to this point. So if you're ready to let go of your emotional crap and feel better than ever, go to nicholasrave.com slash lose your mind for more information or to sign up. Thanks for watching.